But so now you're going to push me back into school. And that's something I worked very hard to get out of. Okay, so so now I have to go back to school to take adult education. Well, you don't have to. That's the beauty of it. It's much more exciting. Dad, as you remember, I, I'm I'm not good in school. I didn't do well in college. I didn't do well in the thing before college. What was that called? High school. High school, right? I didn't do well in high school. I uh, and all the other schools. Well, that's not true. You excelled in junior high school. You were a star athlete, a a straight A student. You know who I'm thinking of. Who's that kid you used to hang out with? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Dad, I get the feeling that adult education is the place where you normally th you think you just want to go meet people. Well, it certainly has a social component that I think... Well, then you should go alone. Why? Ben, this is a great well, place for you... you like not... social stuff. I, I'm not thrilled about it. Yeah, but this is a great place for you to sort of... It's a great place to meet chicks. <laughs> Close your eyes for one second and, and picture us. Latin ballroom dancing. Okay. Introduction to sushi. And that's not just, hello, I'm Ben Katz. You must be uh, tuna nigiri, you know? I'm talking about, they teach you how to make it. Why do you do an Italian accent when you talk about sushi? Tuna nigiri. Ornamental origami. Mm. Oh, this looks interesting. Sex and your body. Origami. Sex and your body. You know, I don't particularly like any of those titles. I, I don't want to do a... Well, let me see the catalog, and uh, maybe if I see something I like. Okay. Okay. Well, how about this? Past life regression. Broaden your self-awareness. Use guided visualization and relaxation techniques to regress to several past life experiences. I don't know, Ben. That makes me a little nervous. Well, I say we just do the past life regression. It's done. It's chosen. I mean, I'll do that one. Okay, I just but want I'm not going to do any of the other one. I don't. Yeah, I'm not... I just. I just think you should know what your options are. American cinema in the 13th century. What is that? Well, there's hundreds of classes in there. I can't possibly go through every one. Put together five minutes. Do your own open mic. Really? I bet you, hey, that's not such a bad idea. You and I are funny guys. We could be a father-son duo like um, Burns and Allen. Yeah, it was husband and wife, but that's, that's, that's not a bad idea. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think there are any famous... Who is the guy, Charlie McCarthy? Who is his father? Edgar? Yeah. Is it? Yep. Oh, no, Joseph. No, Joseph was Abraham's son. Lincoln? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you liked cream, so I got you milk. Mm. Laura, this is so sweet of you. It's perfect. It's exactly how I like it. You, you know how long I've been waiting for this cup of coffee? I can't believe that I actually knew. What do, you, uh, what do you need? What are you talking about? In your entire reign here, you have never once offered me a cup of coffee without having Since some kind when of... when did a person behaving with kindness make another person immediately suspicious? Uh... I, I owe you an apology, Laura. Thank you very much for your kindness. Dr. Katz, my sister's going away for a couple of days, mm -hmm. and um, I'm watching her dog. Yeah. And, um, well, I, I kind of wanted to bring the dog into the office. Well, that's not acceptable because this is a professional office, and, you know, we'd run into all kinds of uh, logistical problems, legal well, problems. Well, you think about it? I'll think about it, but I can tell you that many of my patients, I know for a fact, are allergic to dogs. What type of dog is he? Well, he's a Great Dane, and his name is Caesar, and he's so sweet, and it would be really great if I could just bring him into the office with me because cause he's already here. Oh. Laura, I, I am afraid of, of large dogs. Well, he's not that big. What kind of Dane is he? A Great Dane. See what I'm saying? Hey, um, is there, any, is there a history of mental illness in your family? No, just a history of uh, drinking and getting mad at people for drinking. Alcoholism is a disease, but it's the only disease that you can get yelled at for having. Mm -hmm. Damn it, Otto, you're an alcoholic. Damn it, Otto, you have lupus. One of those two doesn't sound right. Yeah, t tell me about your parents, Mitch, if you can. My dad used to be into coin collecting, which was cool because I was into video games. And then he got into stamp collecting, and I got into mailing things. Mm -hmm. I had a bag of Fritos once. They were Texas Grill Fritos. Wait. These Fritos had grill marks on them. Hell yeah. Reminds me of summer, when we used to fire up the barbecue and throw down on some Fritos. I can still see my dad with the apron on. You better flip that Frito, Dad. You know how I like it. I have two sisters, and one of them is named Wendy. Mm -hmm. And if you asked Wendy if I was weird, she'd probably say, yeah. 
But that's backwards because she's weird because she has like a husband and two children and they have a family photo on top of their VCR where they're all looking slightly to the left Mm. as though something is going on over there. Right. The camera is right in front of you, but I guess something happened to the left that made everybody happy. So, uh, Mitch, you do exercise. I play tennis. I'm not very good at tennis. The thing that's depressing about tennis, though, is no matter how good I get, I'll never be as good as a wall. I played a wall once. They're relentless. Mm -hmm. I'm not very good at golf either. You know, I never got a hole in one, but I did hit a guy, and that's way more satisfying. Yeah, you're supposed to yell four, but I was too busy mumbling. There ain't no way that's gonna hit him. Hey, Laura. Hi. How you doing, baby? Mr. Herrera, Dr. Katz asked me to um, speak to you about um, paying for your last three visits. Y- you're going to need to take care of that. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll pay it. Oh, oh, wait a second. I brought my play wallet today. Uh... Sorry. Yeah, I- I'll-, I'll give it to you next time, I promise. As a matter of fact, after the session, I, I might have left money... Out in the car. Oh, wait a second. I don't have a car. Mm, I'll get it to you. I promise. Do you take vacation in August? No, actually, I go against the grain. I, I take three weeks in July, and I get all that o- August. Uh, mm, to get the guys that need therapy because their therapists are on vacation. Right. Can I come with you on vacation this year? Dom, that is... How much does it cost? Totally out of How much does it cost? My therapist, whore man, can't get anything for free here. You don't even validate parking. What do you mean how much would would what What do I have to pay to come on vacation with you? Dr. Katz's office. Laura. Ben. Ben Collin. (laughs) How are you? Fine. Um, Laura. Yeah? I wanted to ask you a serious question. Do you know anything about past life regression? Um, a little bit. Hmm. What do you mean by that? I mean, I know that it has something to do with, you know, how everybody is made up of the same molecules that other people were made of. Because they travel all around and, you know what I mean. Look look, look at this. Is that beautiful? How do you do that? Uh, well, I have very adroit toes. My whole family's known for that. They used to call my Aunt Yola Long Toes. Because she could, she was like a baboon. She could pick up, uh, she could actually pitch a baseball with her foot. What's her name, Yola? Yolanda, it's short for Yolanda. Oh. Yeah. She used to flash me when I was a kid. She was the first person that ever exposed herself to me. And a long line of people that almost molested me, or I think they were thinking about it. You know, I think if I were, um, so if I had been somebody in a past life, it would, it would have been somebody like um, Gershwin, probably. Why? Or Beethoven. Why? Or Leonardo da Vinci, or Charlemagne. Why does everybody assume that they were someone famous? Well, I think it is because those are the only recognizable names. Everybody can't have been somebody famous. There aren't enough famous people. Well, I mean, I think it's yeah, I think it's silly, but for me, it makes sense. Right. I mean, I could have been somebody like random, but that wouldn't be a good conversation. Hmm. Like if I said, "Well, I think I was a guy who." You know what? It's not a good conversation. Does that feel cool to you when I do that with my foot? Wow, it does. Is that cool, Breeze? Yep. Nice, huh? God, I'd hate for somebody to walk in now. It would be hard to explain. Hmm. Actually, it'd be easy to explain. But hard to understand. Yeah. And maybe I was like somebody, like an, like a famous astronaut, like John Glenn. Well, John Glenn is still alive. Right, but but the class is until next Thursday. That's not nice. Look, the guy's had a great life. I can't believe you want someone to die so that you can think that you were him. Well, look, John Glenn is a great candidate. And in class, I'm going to insist I'd be John Glenn. Do you have to audition or something? Well, yeah. You do a monologue as the person. <sighs> I'm not doing Abe Lincoln because everybody's going to do Abe Lincoln. (laughs) What was that? That's the dog. What dog? It's my sister's dog, and I'm, you know, watching him for a few days. Is it okay with my father that the dog is there? Oh, yeah, he loves it. But my dad has been to other therapists to try and get over his fear of dogs. Oh, well, this is like, um, immersion therapy because it's a really, really big dog. I think my dad might have been attacked by a dog in a past life. Therefore, he's afraid of dogs in this life. 
I went to the moon. My dad was just attacked by a dog. What kind of dog is it? It's a Great Dane. My dad must be terrified. Well... I wouldn't be terrified of a dog, though, because I'm John Glenn. John Glenn is not afraid of dogs. John Glenn went to the damn moon. You think he would be afraid of some Great Dane? I don't know. Let's call him up and ask him. He lived for... He's uh, still alive! Everybody, may I have your attention? I guess cut the small talk then. Yeah, I guess that, okay. I guess that guy is in charge. You, yeah. you know why? Why? Because <clears throat> he's standing up all lying on the floor like idiots. I know. What kind of class is this? Shh, 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 shh. Please, everyone, quiet. Breathe in. Hey, Dad, I brought food. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I mean, I figure if you're going to bring pillows and blankets, you got to bring food. No, you're a good camper. Yeah. I also brought a sterno container. <laughs> and a whole bunch of freeze-dried crap. Relax. This is going to be one hell of a night. Yeah. yeah. Shh, 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 shh. Close your eyes, everyone. Ted, close your eyes. And quiet. Real. This guy's nuts. Ted, don't make noises while he's talking. <laughs> Okay. Imagine a house and a long corridor inside the house. Does everyone see the house? Does everyone see the long corridor? Do you see him, Dad? You want to spend the rest of your life in this room? Just say you see him. I see him. You are walking along the long corridor. At the end of the corridor is a closet door. Open the door. You will see the closet has several garment bags hanging up. Does everyone see the garment bags? I'm not getting garment bags. I got the closet. I don't get <laughs> garment bags. It could just be the reception. This is a great house I got here. <laughs> what about you? I can't decide on which garment bag. I'm sensing spirits and seeing auras. Dad, this guy's getting weird. Would anyone like to share? How about you? What do you see? Uh... I'm having a problem with the with the zipper, but I th I think this must be for someone else because it looks like um woman's clothing in there. Oh my God, Dad! No, that's fine. Good, good. Tell us more. Well, it's it's very very. It looks like it's handmade and from the uh, 19th century. Uh huh. Like uh, remember a TV show called Gunsmoke? Like that stuff. Like that stuff that Kitty would wear. The uh, barmaid. Um, Miss Kitty. Dad, are you serious? That's what you see in the closet? Well, the, then obviously it's not my bag. Don't be so sure. You're a life force that's taken many forms. Oh, Dad. <laughs> you were a saloon girl. You cheap floozy. How could you? Ben, you gotta eat. Mm. How about <laughs> you? Would you like to share? What do you see in the closet? Me? In the closet? Oh, man. Um, there's so many. Different outfits. Mm. Dad, what's a good outfit? Just say say anything, anything at all. That just close your eyes and imagine some outfit, and go go for broke. Uh, it's a um. Yes. Wow, it uh. Uh huh. Big buttons. Oh. It's like a. Some lapels. Big double, lapels. Double vest. Ah. Double breasted lapels. Mmm. Um. Be specific. Spats. Spats. Ooh. Ask him what a spat. What's a spat? You know, it sounds like an old mobster's outfit. I was a gangster. Yeah. I think that deserves a round of applause. Oh, yeah, sure. Yes, if you, if you yes, want to celebrate good. death and violence. At least yeah. I wasn't a saloon girl. At least I brought pleasure to the lives of men like you. Well, at least I was a man. Ah, cramp! Cramp! <laughs> Leg cramp! Yeah, ben, Ben, just... Here, let me, pull let me work, this. Let me work, that, let me work that out. Pull just deep, deep, uh, take deep breaths. Everybody, quiet, Oh, please. my God. Laura? Yeah? What am I smelling out here? Huh? What is that weird smell? Oh, Caesar, hi. Uh. Um, Dr. Katz, how was your past life class? It was, it was uh, actually interesting. Really? Yeah, it was, it was. What did you learn? Well, uh, this is going to sound crazy, but I think that I was once a woman who danced and waited tables in a saloon. And what does that feel like? 
Well, you know, I feel like I'm more in touch with myself in general, you know, yeah. but also I'm more in tune to my environment. Really? Yeah. Uh, I'm standing in pee, aren't I? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I feel like I'm in touch with that part of me that's standing in a huge puddle of pee. Um... <laughs> Are you on any medication now, Mitch, or do you take any drugs recreationally? I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to too. Acid was my favorite drug because it opened up my mind and expanded my mind. Because of acid, I now know that butter is way better than margarine. I saw through the bull. I went to England, and uh, they don't use Smokey the Bear as their forest fire prevention representative. Hmm. They have Smacky the Frog. Right. It's just like a bear, but it's a frog. And I think that's a better system. I think we should adopt it because bears can be mean, but frogs are always cool. Mm -hmm. Like never has there been a frog hopping toward me. And I thought, man, I better play dead. Here comes that frog. I've never said here comes that frog in a horrifying manner. It's always like optimistic. Like, hey, here comes that frog. All right. Maybe he will settle near me. And I can pet him and put him in a mayonnaise jar with a stick and a leaf to recreate what he's used to. And then I can observe him. And he won't be doing much in his 16-ounce world. Hey, Todd. What's up, man? I'll tell you, man, a lot. I took an adult education class. Uh-huh. In, in past life regression. <laughs> yeah. What's so funny? No, no, no. Did you take it? No, I did. I, God, I don't know why I didn't. So what's the class like? What did you learn at the class? I'm sorry. Well, first of all, we were all somebody in a past life. Mm, yeah. The guy opened with that, that. He opened with that? Yeah. Wow. He said that everybody in this room was somebody or some other spirit uh -huh. in a past life. Right. So the spirit lives on. Uh-huh. And it has since the beginning of time. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry I asked this question, actually. But the best part, right? Yeah. The best part was that you go into a sort of, like, almost hypnotic state mm. where you have to go and find who you were in a past life. And I uh. found who I was. And it turns out I I think I was a mobster. Yeah. I, I was actually wondering if you... Um, what do you recommend as far as mob movies? Which ones have you seen or do you... Uh... Well, I mean, I know there's The Godfather, right? I've never seen that movie. You've never seen The Godfather? You work in a video store. I know, but you know... Well, don't people ask about The Godfather all the time? Hey, if you have to ask about The Godfather, I mean, who hasn't seen The Godfather? You haven't seen The Godfather. You know what I mean. Have you seen Goodfellas? No. What movies do you watch I'm from here? A, I gotta tell you, I'm not a movie buff. So, Dad, I'm still coming down from that. That was an amazing, crazy adventure. trip yeah. we took to a closet. It reminds me of taking you to Disney World for the first time, only the yeah. prices here were so much more reasonable. Yeah, but this was way worse than Disney World. I don't think half of those people saw what they said. I think they made it up because they had to. I mean, Dad, what are the odds three people who were George Washington in the same room? I mean, that guy kept asking, what are you? What are you? So you think half of the people did see what they said? Well, what I meant by half was everybody. Oh, okay. That's different. That's very different than half. Why do you have to challenge everything I say? Ch I'm not challenging. I'm listening. <laughs> Why do you have to listen? Forgive me. That That is a legitimate question. I don't think I do. Is that what conversation's about now? <sighs> Has it come to this that we listen to each other? Oh, Dad. Doc, isn't it amazing how relative everything is in life? Mm -hmm. I was reading about a guy. True story, Doc. You got hit by two trains in one day. Can you imagine this? I mean, first of all, you're getting hit by a train, and for that one infinitesimal moment, you're thinking, oh, my God, I got hit by a train. What else could happen? Boom, you get hit by another train. Then you're thinking, boy, this is a crap day. A two-train day, that's not the kind of day you want to leave the house. And you know what the medical examiner said? This man has to be the luckiest man in the world. He only suffered minor injuries. And I'm thinking, first of all, luckiest man in the world never gets hit by a train. Am I right? <laughs> 
Maybe maybe the breeze from a speeding train blows the winning lottery ticket into his mouth. That would be the luckiest man in the world. What are these people thinking? I had a girlfriend. She was very nice to me, man. She treated me like a king. She gave me, like, this friendship card. It was like a birthday card. Mm -hmm. On the front of it, it said, A friend is one of life's most beautiful gifts. And then inside the card, it had all these great quotes about friendship. You know, it really touched me. I, I started to think, man, I should quit stealing money out of her purse. Hmm. But I couldn't because her birthday was coming up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll, like, I'll rent a car and I'll drive around for like 10 miles with the emergency brake on. Right. You know, it doesn't say a lot for me, but it really doesn't say a lot for the emergency brake. I cannot imagine the emergency. Quick, we need the car to smell funny immediately. Whoops. You know what the music means, Mitch? We're going to have to stop. Oh, is it, is it over already? I want to keep on rolling with the... Did you say rolling? Yeah, I was going to say rambling and rolling, but I got screwed up. Yeah. I can't wait until next week when we roll again. But it's a week, you know, that's too long. Back, I'm back, you know, I'm back into, I don't want to go to therapy mode, you know what I'm saying? But then, as soon as I hear that damn piano, man, man I'm having some fun.